All right, so I got my hands on a new mount. Pretty much, I actually got two. This is actually like the new one that came out like, what, 19 days ago, but I just now got it and I was actually too lazy. Then I actually have this one. This one is um, pretty much you gotta link your you gotta link your account to this game and you get like a free mount. But otherwise, this one's actually event mount. There's actually a lot of horses into this game. But this one actually, um, something is, it'd be really cool if they was to add, um, the freaking, whatchamacallit. HP, HP and MP, uh, recovery of every single time when you actually, uh, basically ride them out. This one, everyone, our, everybody, um, you just link your account and everybody gets that mount. But most of this game, there's so many, um, there's so many horses, horse mounts in this game. Um, for example, this is actually the starter horse right here. That when you first, you know, play Terra, you get a starter horse. And then once you reach level 65, <laughs> then you get a flying, a flying mount. Once you reach level 65, but the suck thing is, it's it's the starter horse mount. It's the starter horse. It's like it's like playing Trove. You get you get Sebastian. Sebastian, you know the slowest mount, the slowest first mount in the game. Imagine Sebastian with wings on it. All right. So now this is um the Bone Shaker. This horse looks like you could go in World War II. Looks pretty, looks pretty lit and dope. Sad thing is, there's no HP recovery up. That'd be really cool. But otherwise, check this amount out. So, pretty much, it took me about like at least nine days to actually get my hands on it just by collecting like you know pieces of candy because like every day you get like what 25 from doing this event but no one's not really doing it anymore though and this is where i actually have basically got it the rewards not really that great except for that little bone bone shaker one dude my inventory is just full of freaking horses <laughs> Whoa, and check this out. Look, look, I didn't even notice that. Like, the eyes, it's like, like, pink zigzag. I just now noticed that. When you look at other people's mounts, like the bone shaker, it doesn't show that. But that's actually some, that's some cool uh, pink lights right there. So anyways, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you guys the event. Um, it's it's already kind of too late because no one's barely doing it, but on day one everyone's already doing it. But yeah, it's just basically you're on the cannon protecting some pieces of candy and you need like three people. So I guess I'm actually show you that. Shall we get started? <laughs> hmm. This place was packed on day one, but now no one is barely doing this event anymore. It was actually really fun, but doing it multiple times, it just got, you know, very boring. And like, every single day, you get like 25 pieces of candy. Mm. But, you know, everyone got what they need, so they're not really doing this crap anymore. Alright, so now we're going to select the cannon.
And that's about it. And that's pretty much, that's the little mini game. Pretty much you do it like five times every single day, but it's pretty much already too actually late to actually do it. But I might as well, you know, just want to show you the mini game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace out.